Okay, post-trib moment number 38. Again, we're going to see some more of Steve Anderson's ignorance of scripture. It's just astounding. Let's watch this. He wanted to kill Jesus Christ. And so we see the birth of Christ in Revelation 12. That's a very strong signal to us from God that we've gone back in time because we know that that has already happened. So as we're reading chapters 1 through 11, there's a very logical chronological order. Then when we get to chapter 12, we're back to the first century A.D. with the birth. Oh, really? We're back to the first century A.D., huh? Revelation chapter 12. Let's take a look at that. Now, right here, who is this talking about? Well, it's talking about Israel up here, not Mary. She being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. Okay? Israel gave birth to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a Jew. Okay? But now look at this. This great red dragon shows up. Seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads. A lot on that. But uh, Israel brings forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Did that happen in the first century? Absolutely. But now look at the next one. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that she should, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Hmm. Twelve sixty. Twelve sixty. Divided by 365 days in a year equals approximately three and a half years. Okay? So you have the woman there being fed by God for three and a half years. All right? Did this happen in the first century? No. We are right back into the tribulation time period. How about this one? Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place any found any more in heaven. The great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. That has not happened yet. Okay, the devil still has to go before God and give an account of what he's doing. Okay, this has not happened yet. All right, and it goes on to say a bunch of other things. This is more stuff that's going on in the tribulation. This isn't all first century type of stuff. But let's continue here. Earth of Christ, and we go through the chronology all over again, uh, takes us through chapter 16. The seventh vial of chapter 16 lines up with the seventh trumpet of chapter 11. And then, you know, we go further. We get into the destruction of Babylon. We get into Armageddon in chapter 19. And we get into the, the great white throne and so forth. So I hope that helps you understand the book of Revelation. Just it doesn't, because you lied. To understand that chapters 1 through 11 are in chronological order. But then at chapter 12, we reset back to the first century. And then we're in chronological order once again. And we see the same events play out. Tribulation, then rapture, then God pours out his wrath. It's in both halves. And it's in the same order both times. No, it isn't. He lied again. Debunking this guy is just so ridiculous. I mean, it's just... Who believes this stuff? I just can't imagine.